Hey there folks, the Scottsdale Travel Chick here. I'm gonna give you a detailed review of the Hilton Hawaiian Village in Honolulu, Hawaii. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the Hilton and how to get the most out of your stay. Okay, let's get going. Let's start with the hotel's location how to get there, and what's nearby. The hotel is located on the southern part of Oahu and less than eight miles from the Honolulu Airport. This hotel is located in the Hawaiian Village, so there are endless shopping and dining options available. If you wanted to walk into the downtown area of Honolulu, that will take you about 20 minutes. Okay, so let me tell you more about this hotel. This Hilton is the largest one we have stayed at. It has five different towers and around 2,900 rooms. Yep, I said that right. It's an enormous hotel. And while we were visiting, the hotel was sold out. And in fact, oversold. This Hilton caters to more families. You will see kids running around the various pool areas, as well as the famous lagoon. If you are coming as a couple and looking for some quiet relaxation time, this might not be the hotel for you. There is a circular entry to the hotel, and there are bellmen waiting to help you. As we pulled up, there was hardly any space to unload the bags. So the employees are very quick to help you unload and getting you over to the front desk to check in. Checking into the hotel can become very busy. So I just wanted to mention here that check-in time is actually at 4 p.m. But you can do a pre-check-in at 12.30 p.m. and they will store your luggage for you. That way you can enjoy the pool and other amenities at the hotel. Just to the right of the check-in desk, you could get help with booking that luau and other reservations at the resort. Let's talk really quick about the resort fees. The resort fee is $50 per day. The resort fee covers things like free Wi-Fi, outdoor fitness classes, 10% off beach activities, just to name a few. Parking can be expensive, so let's talk about that. Parking fees can run you up to $65 per day. The parking garage is very near to the entrance where you check in. There's also a parking garage across from the Hilton Hawaiian Village. This garage is not owned by the Hilton. We thought we would just park there. Then, as upon leaving, realized it's $79 per day. My suggestion is to just use Uber to get around. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the hotel. As I mentioned earlier, there is a ton and ton of restaurants and shopping nearby. You certainly will need to buy another piece of luggage just to carry everything home. Again, this is an enormous hotel, so I'm going to try and break things down for you a little bit. When you check in, grab a map to get the lowdown of where your room is located. Here is a map of the hotel. In the next section, I'll explain a little bit more on the best towers to stay at. So let's talk about the rooms. As I mentioned, there are more than 2,900 rooms. So here's the breakdown of the towers. Rainbow Tower, this is the iconic tower. It has murals on the outside of the tower that are actually mosaic tiles. 
there are 31,000 hand-painted tile pieces. This building is 31 stories tall. We stayed in this tower and had views of the lagoon below us. Here is the walkthrough of our room and we were upgraded to a suite. Our room had a king size bed with a couch and two patios looking over the lagoon. Our room could certainly use an upgrade and I was told this tower is the next one for renovations. Our room had a good sized bathroom and large vanity area. This bathroom was also wheelchair accessible. I always like to give you a view of a basic room, but the hotel was oversold and they were cleaning the room next door to us, so I just took a few of these pictures to show you. Okay, let's talk about the other towers that are available to stay at. As I mentioned before, we stayed at the Rainbow Tower. This looks over the lagoon as well as the ocean beach area. Across from the Rainbow Tower is the Lagoon Tower. The Lagoon Tower offers family-friendly accommodations, ranging from spacious studios with kitchenettes to large three-bedroom and penthouse suites. And this is part of their timeshare. The Kalia Tower is also part of their timeshare, occupying floors 12 through 18. You could choose between a studio room with a kitchenette or a one bedroom suite with a full kitchen. Each has their own private balcony. And this tower is where the spa, gym, and adult pool are. The Tapa Tower is one of their newly renovated towers. It has great views of Waikiki and the ocean. It is centrally located in the heart of the resort and is located very near to the Tapa pool and bar. And the last tower I wanted to mention is the Ali Tower. This has an exclusive check-in desk at the tower. It has a beautiful pool that overlooks Waikiki Beach, has their own mixed bar and poolside fitness center. With all that being said, I might want to try the Ali Tower next time. The Hilton has plenty of choices to choose from. Whether you're here with a family, doing a solo trip, or as a couple. Keep in mind, if you're planning on booking a vacation during spring break or the summertime, you may want to plan ahead. Because as I mentioned before, when we were there, it was completely sold out. The Hilton has done a beautiful job with the exterior landscaping. You can spend a ton of time just walking around, taking in the views of the waterfalls, ponds, and pools. And speaking about pools, let's talk about those next. They have a total of five pools at this resort. And as you can see here, they can get really crowded. That's why it's kind of nice to go to the lagoon. More space and a little less crowded. If you want some quiet time and you don't have any children, head to the adult pool at the Kalia Tower. The only problem with this pool is that there's no umbrellas or any shade whatsoever. 
and it was really hot. I wanted to mention a little bit about the beach. It's a great beach. Sand is really soft right on the ocean. But do you notice all those chairs and umbrellas? Well, that will cost you. A chair could cost you $25. And that nice umbrella to keep the sun away, that will cost you around $40. Here's my pro tip. You can thank me later. There is a Facebook group that you can join. It's called Pass It On Beach Gear and More in Hawaii. Those two chairs, beach volleyball, umbrella, and boogie board will cost you $40. And you can pick it up from someone at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? That's some savings right there. So let's talk about the other amenities this resort has to offer. The Kalia Tower also offers the adult pool, gym, and spa. This is the entrance to the tower, and it's also part of their timeshare. Of course, you can always find a Starbucks right around the corner. Located on the fourth floor of this tower, you'll find the gym. It's a good-sized gym, plenty of free weights, and lots of cardio machines. Also, keep in mind, there is a second gym that's located in the Ali Tower but only for the guests who are staying there. Okay, let's move on to the spa. The spa is located on the fourth floor. The spa offers various options to choose from, facials to body wraps, even body polishes. And check out their wellness wonders. This gives you the option to choose massage packages from Asia, India, and the Mediterranean. Here is something you can do for the entire family. If you are the type of person who loves looking at sea life but would prefer not to swim in the ocean, you might want to consider Atlantis submarines. This can be done right from the back of the Hilton Hotel. We did not do this, but I wanted to mention this as an option. Here is the website for more information. Next up, I'll talk about the dining and bar options. But before I do, just a quick break here to say, if you are enjoying this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please consider following our channel for more fun, informative videos just like this one. If you want to know more about Oahu, on what to see and do, be sure to check out our overall travel guide of Oahu. Just search Oahu Travel Guide Scottsdale Check. Okay, on to the hotel's dining and bar options. There are so many dining and bar options at this hotel. I'm going to break it down for you. For your fine dining option, choose Bali Oceanfront. You can also order breakfast here in the morning. French toast was unbelievably delicious. They have a great view at sunset. And here's a picture of the dinner menu. Another option for breakfast is at Tropics Bar and Grill. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. And you have a great view of the beach. My hamburger was really delicious. Here is a picture of their menu. If you want to grab something quick to eat, then head to the Wiki Wiki Market. They offer items like sandwiches, salads, to-go type items. By the way, we tried their breakfast sandwich and it was really delicious.
did I mention? This is where you can get some yummy shaved ice. Okay, next up is the Tapa Bar. The Tapa Pool is located right next to the Tapa Bar. So you can take a dip in a pool and go grab a drink. We were not very impressed with the food at the Tapa Bar. It tasted terrible. They do, however, have live music in the evenings. Then, of course, they offer lots of options with pool food. You will find several locations near the pool areas. In the Hilton Hawaiian Village, you have tons of more options. Lots of small restaurants to choose from, and of course, shopping all around. And if you're interested in booking a luau, they offer a luau right there at the property. Just contact the concierge near the front desk and they can book the tickets for you. Here's a free activity for the entire family. On Friday night at 745, they launch their fireworks from the beach. They are spectacular. One last thing here is make sure to check out their resort calendar. They have a ton of activities for the entire family. Okay, now it's time for my Scottsdale Travel Chick score. The hotel has done a beautiful job with all of the pools, ponds, waterfalls, and all the beautiful landscaping. And certainly, there are a ton of rooms here. So many different towers to choose from. And the hotel is in a great location. Not too far from the airport and walking distance to downtown Waikiki. Numerous pools with water slides for families. But if you're looking for relaxation, this may not be for you. I just found it to be hectic. There were so many people in the pool, it just wasn't enjoyable. There were lots of dining options, but at the hotel itself, I thought the food wasn't up to Hilton standards. Although they did do a great job on the breakfast. If we were to come back to Honolulu again, I think I would try a different hotel. With all that being said, I give the Hilton Hawaiian Village a 7 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed our video and until next time, see you later.